Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm exempt prolific. And, you know, what I notice is that, man, you know, when some people get in power, they let the power go to their head. But I don't think that's the full reason for this situation right here because I feel that this person has always been this way. And, of course, with power, you know, it just magnifies this behavior. I'm talking about Nicki Minaj. Now, you know, she was doing a show in Dubai, and what happened was that, you know, um, even before doing the show, there's always been a policy for her security guards that they should never be distracted, and uh, using cell phones are a no-no, you know, um, while they're working. And what happened was that while she was on the stage about to perform, she noticed a security guard that was working for her was on the cell phone and he was distracted. So what she did during her set was walk towards this guy, snatch his cell phone, and just throw it into the crowd. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's interesting, not necessarily into the crowd, but she just threw it, you know, and it's interesting to see that action. They have video footage online. You can see it. And, and you know, my whole thing is, you know, it's like, listen, first and foremost, I totally get the concept of being enraged by a security guard, a bodyguard, you know, being distracted while you're working because, you know, one false move, one delayed reaction can allow somebody to get you, hurt you, injure you, maybe kill you. And you're worth tens of millions of dollars. Who wants that to happen? So I totally understand how she was infuriated. But to grab the cell phone and to throw it, you know, it's like, I don't know. It just seems a little too much to me, I guess, because of my temperament isn't as feisty as hers. I mean, she's well known for having a very fierce and feisty temperament, you know, you know, hot tempered, uh, as you would say. Um, me, I would have just told the homeboy, put the phone away, and later that night, after the show, fired his ass, or, you know, replaced him whenever most convenient, but that would have been his last, you know what I mean? That would have been the last draw because you already knew before this set you're not supposed to do this you shouldn't even have the cell phone on this is the whole reason why you're in Dubai with me because of watching me for my safety so your cell phone should be off what the hell are you doing playing Candy Crush I don't understand so you know but he'll lose his job for that but to snatch the cell phone and throw it I think that was a little much but you know either way he deserved whatever he got because he knew beforehand you're not supposed to be on your cell phone. Anyway, leave a comment in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe. You could also follow me on Twitter. Download the new podcast episode. Um, and for all you rappers, we got hip-hop instrumentals for you. You can find those links down below. I'll talk to you later. Peace.